How's it going guys? I'm inside right now because it is hot out. Like 105 out right now. And it is just way too hot for me to be doing too much. But today in that front flower bed, this window right here, which is the front bedroom, I would like to um, sew some sunflowers and some zinnias. So I have bags of each of these. I have sunflowers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six different varieties of sunflowers. And then one giant bag of zinnias right here. This I bought four years ago or something like that, three years ago. And it was a pound of, um, oh, I said zinnias, I mean cosmos. I don't know why, but I always get those two mixed up. Oh my gosh. So a pound of cosmo seeds. And um, this is the sensation mix. And this is what we sprinkle in the like driveway area in one of our flower beds every single year. And they perform really, really well. Let me show you guys the sunflowers that I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna go get these guys in the ground. I'm gonna do some of the Gold Light DMR. This is the Pro Cut series, which means that they don't have any pollen. And then I have this pack that I was gifted by one of you guys. This is the Velvet Queen Sunflower, a really pretty red one. Then I have this one, this is called Moonshine. Then here is another one called Autumn Beauty, and these three packs were all given to me by other people. And then this one is the Peach Passion. And last I have Sunfill Purple. I don't think I'm gonna do any of these though. I might come over here and grab some of these actually. This is the Pro Cut White Knight. I think I'm gonna do that. And then I have a couple other ones in here, but I'm not gonna do them. This is the Mammoth one, absolutely massive sunflowers. And then here is another sunflower, Austria Rose Cream, and kind of a really weird one. I do wanna plant these, but I would like to do them in an individual area. It says that they get three and a half feet tall, so not super massive. So um, I wanna try these in the cut flower area. And then these are the um, Cosmos that I bought. So the Sensation Mix. So we're in front of the house and this is the area that they're gonna go. We have this length of bed. It's like 14 feet or something like that long. And I need to tear out the drip that's already here. This is just some black poly. And I had just randomly popped in emitters anywhere that I had had a plant. Um, it's connected over here. And so this is on its own timer. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out here. And then I'm going to replace all of this with drip tape. That way it's just a little more consistent. And... Um, so I'll do two runs here of drip tape. And then these, these pots right here are still connected to this bed also. So I have to figure out how I'm going to connect the quarter inch line, which is what this is right here into the drip tape somehow. I gotta figure that out. So let me um, kind of tear this out and then I have all my drip supplies right here.
Okay, so that is all done now. And the reason that I use drip tape instead of the brown poly is because I had this on hand and because I was doing a straight run. So with the drip tape, this stuff can't bend. If it bends, it just, it kinks. Um, it's not really meant to go around curves. It's just meant for straight runs. So that's why you see that I had to do a T and then a straight line and then a elbow and then a straight line. And then um, this is the black poly, which is a little bit thicker than this is. It's actually a lot thicker. Like this stuff lays flat and this stuff is round. And so I heat that up with a torch and then I can get it to go onto these connectors. And that's how I connect these to each other. And then down on this end is where I did the same thing. I used just a little bit of the black poly and I put the drip emitters, I left those on there and kinked this on one side and heated it up and just attached it that way. And then I have a straight line. You can see where it's a little bit kinked. So I need to come in and kind of straighten that out. It'll straighten itself out a little bit. Um, but the emitters you also want facing up. If they're facing down, they'll tend to get clogged with sediment or calcium or whatever. The water will push through these and it'll you know, fall out of the emitters. So this goes here and then those get fed to these two things right here. So this is all done. Now what I'm gonna do is mix up some of my seeds in a bucket with some soil. Okay, so my next step now, so that way I get even seed disbursement is I'm gonna take a bucket like this and then I'm also, I'm gonna take some soil and I'm gonna put that in this bucket, not a whole lot. And then I'm gonna mix my seeds into the mixture of soil with seed. So that way I get an even disbursement of, you know, seeds. So that way it's not like I do one clump by just spreading seeds out there. So this will make it so that they're spread a little more evenly. And um, that way they don't just like come up right on top of each other. So let's fill this up with maybe about this much soil, not a whole lot, maybe a little less actually, probably about like there. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with all of my seeds and just decide what I want the most of, which is probably gonna be the Cosmos and then the DMR and then just a few of each of these. So let's pop some soil in this bucket and then we can go ahead and spread the seeds out, okay? That's enough like that. First thing that we're gonna go in with Cosmos and these seeds are a couple years old. So I'm gonna go in with quite a few of these, like a really big handful of seeds. Then the next thing that I really want is some sunflowers. I'm gonna go in with a handful of these sunflower seeds. These are the DMR ones. And I mean, it's not really that big of a space, so I'm not trying to go super crazy with it. But I do know that some of these aren't really gonna germinate. This is the Pro Cut White. I'm just gonna go in with a small little pinch of those guys. Next is the Peach Passion. Same thing, just a small little handful of those. And then these ones are pretty small amount of seeds, so I'm probably just gonna dump all of these seeds in here like this. Yeah, so this red one has one, two, three, maybe 10 seeds. So those are all gonna go in there. And this one, the moonshine, these seeds are probably like four years old. I think I had these at the other house and there's maybe 10 seeds there. And then this is the autumn beauty. So I just think it'll be really pretty with the cosmos and then like sunflowers popping through in between it. It'll tie in with the other cosmos that we have on the property. And then this is like a menagerie of seeds. There's like white seeds and black seeds and brown seeds. We're gonna put all those in there. So then we're just gonna mix this all up together. So then you can see in here, there's a seed there, a seed there, a seed there, a seed there. This way I get a nice even disbursement of seeds in the mixture. And then another reason that I'm gonna do it like this also is because if I place sunflowers too close together, they will be smaller flowers. And so this will give them a little bit more space, but it is also gonna place them kind of close together, which is what I want. I don't want, you know, 12 inch sunflowers up here. I think that, that just might be a little ridiculous. So next step is to go sprinkle this mixture into to that flower bed.
Okay, so those are all done now. Now we're gonna move to the backyard. I have a whole bunch of little seeds that I need to start that you guys saw me start, some sunflower seeds. Um, not start them, I need to move them. So they're ready to be transplanted into the ground. And so I have a whole bunch of holes in the cut flower area that I'm just gonna deck it out with sunflowers because they've been a great performer this year already. And so um, we're gonna do that. And this area is done. I should start to see seedlings pop up in, I don't know, three days probably. It's really hot out. In this area, it's full sun. It's like 10 o'clock now, right? It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock now. And you guys can see the sun is starting to come. So by about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, this area is in pretty much full sun right here. So um, let's go to the backyard where I'm probably gonna be in full sun already and get those little sunflowers transplanted into the ground. So this here is where the sunflowers are gonna go. You guys saw me rip all of this out. They're gonna get tucked in here. I have a couple holes in that bed and in that bed. You can see like along the edge right here, there's one, two, three, there's four holes right here. I'm gonna tuck some sunflowers in. And then in here, I have a couple holes also. There's five holes right there. And for the most part, the rest of this has all come up. But you guys can see there's the sunflowers and they're doing great. I've actually harvested a ton of them and that's the DMR and they branch. So there's a whole bunch of sunflowers off of it. Each leaf produces a sunflower. And so I've been able to harvest, I don't even know how many off of that. Whereas this guy right here is huge, absolutely massive sunflower, but it only produces one head. So um, there's only one of those guys. And that is, this one is the double quick orange. So really pretty, really large sunflower. But if I was growing it for cut flowers, which is what I want to do back here, that is not going to be efficient. Whereas the um, DMR quick, quick fire, I don't know. The DMR orange one produces a ton of sunflowers. You can see there's a bud there, a bud there, a bud there. And all along the stalk, there'll be sunflowers. And then I have zinnias here and some random ones. So we're going to just start popping these guys in anywhere that there's a hole. Let me show you guys that. Oh, oh. This is the center court dahlia and the stem snapped. I haven't really been that impressed with some of these ones. So the center court, not super impressed with. And then this one, I'm also not like, this one hasn't been the most impressive either. This is Child Since Pride. I really thought it was a more purpley color, but it's white and um, they keep burning. So yeah but nothing else has really opened up too much. You guys have already seen all of these that have opened. Oh, wait, here's a new one, I think. Did you guys already see this one? It's like a reddish color. The red is a pretty color, but the center is so huge and the petals are so tiny. And then here's another one that I'm just now seeing. This one is a very, very dark red color. We'll see what happens when that opens. Okay, I'm distracted. <laughs> Let's get these little starts in the ground. So these are the sunflowers that I started. They're huge already, they're absolutely massive, and they were just started a few days ago. Um, they're already starting to put on their true leaves, which are the second leaves. These first ones are called like cotyledon or something like that. And then the next leaves that come out are the true leaves. So a whole bunch of DMRs, um, a couple of the sun fill, and um, who is this? Peach, peach passion and then none of the basil has germinated. So I don't know what's up with that. So I ended up using every single DMR that I have, and I didn't use any of the sun fills. Um, these guys are really, really leggy. Like, you guys can see, look how long that is. I'm gonna try to direct sow these in a little while, 
but that's just way, way too long. I don't trust that. I mean, and they're kind of floppy, so I'm not gonna use any of these ones. I'll try it again, but I got this whole section filled with the DMRs and at the end of this row filled with the DMRs. So I'll have sunflowers there, sunflowers here, and sunflowers back there. I do still have some of the peach passion, I think it is, left to transplant and I'll get those done maybe later tonight when it cools down a little bit. It's just a little bit too warm right now. And plus my next door neighbor, Mason, who is eight years old, wants to have a water balloon fight. So I'm not gonna say no to that. So I'm gonna head over there and go have a water balloon fight. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>